Hi, this is Nancy at Notions, and I bring to you today one of our longest standing vendors here at Notions Marketing, and I was really, really surprised to find out that not only are they right across the pond, as in right across Lake Michigan, so they're in Wisconsin, but the majority, the huge majority of everything they make is made in Wisconsin, in the United States, and this is Jill. Hi, Jill. How are you? I am very good. So tell us a little bit about the history of June Taylor. Well, June Taylor was a real person. Her name was June Cronkey, and she invented something called the Taylor Board, which was a wooden apparatus that helped people press when they were doing garment sewing. Um, she had several other pressing tools in the uh, early 60s and uh, sold them via sewing stores, state fair. Even in back magazines. when you could have printed magazine ads in Absolutely. the back. I remember those magazine ads. And as time went on and women were doing a little bit less and less garment sewing, she took the focus of her company, which was all about pressing, and applied those same skills to quilting and came out with some great tools for quilters on how to press and square up blocks cutting mats and rulers and all kinds of wonderful notions. And items. we all know that quilting really isn't just quilting anymore. Quilting goes into home deck items, like we've got little towels and placemats and, and then um, all the different things like the pillows and stuff. So quilting goes into home deck, which even goes back into making garments and making bags. So we're gonna come back with three of the most popular items that we have from June Taylor and kind of show you a little step-by-step -step on how these can be done. Jill is going to take us through some step-by-step -step on their quilt as you go projects. And the fun thing about the quilt as you go is it's really quilt by number. It's really very step by step. So really fabulous for the beginner, but also really good for the advanced quilter because the advanced quilter is going to be able to add whatever he or she chooses with their quilting skills to a lot of these different projects. So Jill, kind of show us a step by step. I here. will, because we're going to take three steps of quilting and do it all in one. All right. Awesome. So we're going to make a placemat today. And we start out with our printed batting and we cut out the placemat design and then we're going to attach our backing. To do that, we use quilt basting spray. It's a lightweight adhesive. You just need a little spray. And now your backing, as you can see, is attached. And then we're gonna cut out our fabrics and our directions tell you exactly what to cut. They're all very easy sizes. And we're gonna starch these so they're nice and stiff. We don't wanna to touch an iron to the batting, so we're gonna finger press. And to do that, you need the starch. We're gonna start out by placing piece one down like this and placing piece two right sides together, raw edges even, like this. This is the process right here. You sew in a quarter inch seam allowance, and then you flip it open and finger press it, and we've got that done for you right here. So our piece one is down, piece two, we've sewn in a quarter inch, and when you flip it open, it will land right on this line. So just to know, these are not sewing lines, they're placement lines. And then we're gonna take piece three, right sides together, raw edges even, and sew in a quarter inch. And that'll flip open here. Notice as I'm sewing through the top, I'm sewing through the batting and the backing. So you're quilting as you go. And we've added piece two and three, piece four, right sides together, raw edges even, and on and on. You can see your quilt block is actually coming to life and your placemat is forming. We've added all these pieces and now we're gonna move on to seven. Sew that in a quarter inch and flip it open as well as. Okay, but hold on here. What I like here is when you're stitching and flipping this one on, this has this odd little angle, but you don't have to worry about that odd little angle. You're just gonna put it on with the straight. The odd little angle will be taken care of exactly. when you're trimming it down. When so we're it's all a, done, we're gonna trim along that yep, line. One other so. thing to make it even easier. Absolutely. So our block is coming together. We're gonna to add piece eight and nine, right sides together, raw edges even, and flip. And we'll be doing the same here. And look at the back. You can see that our quilting lines are right in there. Our last step will be adding the four corners. So that's 18 through uh, 21. And you're just going to put your, um, what we have you start out with is a square that you're gonna cut in half and then right sides together. You'll sew along here and flip that open and you'll repeat that on the other All right, corners. One more thing about these, these are 
jelly roll friendly, two and a half inch wide? These are two, okay. um, but you can definitely just cut down a jelly roll to get your perfectly sized right. strips for this strips for this particular design. And now that all our corners are sewn, we're going to lift this up and we're going to find that line and take our, our ruler and just cut right along that line until we've made a rectangle for our placemat. And then we traditionally bind it, as you can see, and our placemat is done in no time. So what the people in Paint by Number have done, we have done basically <laughs> with batting and fabric. And there's even a matching table runner to go with it. We love this design. You can focus on a beautiful piece of fabric in the center. You can put a monogram in here. You can embroider. Uh, you can put a photo in the center. So we love this design. It offers so much versatility in fabric selection. Now, how many different quilt-as-you-go designs do you, are you guys offering now? A little over 40. Over so 40, 40 different, different designs. items because this is so easy and quick. Yeah. So there is the quick little placemats and table runners. There's actually some quilts that some of them are just strips sewn on the entire quilt. Some of them are more of a block as you go kind of quilt as you go. And behind us, you can see the cute little mug mats with all the cute little sayings on them. And these are great. They come seven per kit and they're all themed. So we have everything from teacher themes to Bible verses quilty fun sayings, we have uplifting sayings, and they're great. You, you get seven per kit. You can have one for each day of the week, or you can keep one for yourself and give six away as gifts. It's, they're fun to roll up yeah. and put in a mug and add a few treats to Seriously, it. Seriously, something for everybody yes. in every um, talent range or skill range. Also, um, from the very, very beginning to the more advanced quilter, there is something in there, small all the way to big, for everybody in the June Taylor Quilt As You Go line. Our Charming Circles ruler is great to use with all that leftover denim that you have. You're basically going to collect all of your denim scraps and you're going to cut circles using the outside edge as your guide. You can use a rotary cutter to go around here or mark and cut with a scissors. You'll also notice there's some lines in here that you can mark and those are for your five inch charm squares. So you can use the ruler to actually center a motif or simply outline your five inch charm square. You're going to take your charm square and a little bit of basting spray and you're going to set it on the wrong side of your denim or your fabric and attach this. And then what you're going to do is continue to make those up with the charm square and the denim. And then you're going to sew right sides together right along that charm square. So I'm going to sew right along here and I'm going to make all my different rows and knowing that everything is going to end up being five inches when I'm done. And after everything is sewn together, you're going to flip your petals over like this. We use our starch to keep that in place. And then we're going to sew in a quarter of an inch all the way around each edge, a quarter of an inch in. We're going to throw it in the washer. We're going to throw it in the dryer. And it's all going to fluff up like this and give you that shabby chic look. And if you don't like that shabby chic look, you can also sew your petals down. Again, you can sew close to the edge using a decorative stitch. That has a little bit more of a neat look to it. But every block finishes off at exactly five inches. So if you know how large you want your blanket or your placemat or your tote bag, you just work off that five inch number. What we love about this is there's no batting and the denim makes up the backing and the back is as pretty as the front. So for a fun project using your denim, look for the Charming Circles ruler and there's even patterns for this large quilt and then we also have patterns online for a matching tote bag and a pillow. The last project we want to highlight from the June Taylor line is the t-shirt quilt line. So there's actually three little pieces to it but these two being the most important. So tell us about the ruler. This is the perfect ruler to center your motifs on all your t-shirts. Everybody has different size t-shirts and uh, different ways that the motifs run. This ruler allows you to make a great big 15 and a half inch square. So if you were centering this flag, for example, that's what you would get when you were ready to sew your quilt block together, or a 12 and a half inch square or a 10 and a half inch square. It also allows you to say, well, wait a minute, maybe my motif is wider than it is tall, and that happens in a lot of men's shirts. 
where um, we have more of a horizontal motif. Then we use the outside edges of the ruler for our left and right, and we use these guidelines to mark for the top and bottom. Little kids' motifs often run uh, longer vertically than they do horizontally, and so the ruler can be used in both directions for that. And our most favorite part of the ruler is to make a quilt block on point because having a quilt or having a, a t-shirt motif on point really adds a lot to your quilt. Before we can sew together, we have to interface the back of our quilt blocks so that our quilt block, uh, our t-shirt isn't stretchy. It, we wanted to sew it up just like a cotton. We make a 60 inch wide, two yard piece, so that's 60 by 72, woven fusible interfacing. So when we fuse this on the back of our t-shirt blocks, it's basically like making a t-shirt block into a woven piece of fabric. It's that simple. So we really like to say, what's the best motif, or what's the best design this motif should be cut in? Interface the backs of the blocks, and then we sew them all together. Mm -hmm. The easiest way for us to describe making a t-shirt quilt is start with your biggest block, and in this case, we're gonna start with this 15 and a half inch block. To every other block, we added a little bit extra fabric to make a 15 inch block. So my motif in this particular one lent itself well to a, a longer narrow block, but I added pieces to the side and the top so that I reached 15 and a half inches. Then I can simply sew all my blocks together for a really interesting looking t-shirt quilt. So don't be intimidated by the process. We have a great YouTube video to walk you through all the steps. Add your favorite fabrics to your most favorite t-shirt and make anyone yeah. a lovely t-shirt quilt. T-shirt quilts are always gonna be very popular because they're pretty much indestructible, first of all, because they're made out of t-shirt. And by adding the wove infusible to it, you have really made it, it's gonna be a forever project. Once you make a t-shirt quilt, it will last forever. And it's so fun because it's not like that heirloom quilt that only can hang on the wall or go on the special bed. It goes to the stadium, into the park, into the picnic. So t-shirt quilts are always so popular. And they're a treasure. Yep, yep, forever. So all your memories are out there. So there you have it. There is just three of the popular products that we have from June Taylor. There is a lot more to be said about all of these different projects and all of that information just so happens to be on the Notions Marketing website. When you go to the website, to the media section, you'll be able to see not only the videos for all these different projects, but even some patterns involved. Um, contact your sales rep if you have any questions about any of these different projects. And if you're a consumer, head over to your favorite quilt shop and sewing center. Ask them about some of the June Taylor projects.